Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're an Arch user, then you will learn in this video how you can install Hyperland on your distribution. With the My Linux for Work Hyperland starter package, it's super easy to install Hyperland with a base configuration on Arch Linux based distros. And this base configuration includes, of course, Hyperland, the terminal Alacrity, the application launcher Rofi in the Valent version, and the status bar Waybar, plus the browser Chromium. Everything in one package and easy to install just by entering one command into your terminal. In addition, I will show you how you can install the new Hyperland settings app that I have introduced in the last my Linux for work dot files 2.9. With this application, it's super easy to configure your Hyperland configuration without using a terminal. Also, this application can be installed just by using one command in your terminal. If you are already using Hyperland on an Arch Linux based distribution, just install the Hyperland settings app on top. Please note that there is no official support for NVIDIA hardware. But Many users of Hyperland reported success to use NVIDIA graphic cards on their system. Please check out the Hyperland wiki and the related section. And for Manjaro users, you know that some of the packages are behind the Arch Linux repository in Manjaro. So it's possible that the installation of packages can fail. Related packages are normally available in the right version after a while. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. I'm here on a virtual machine uh, with Endeavor OS with the latest version. Uh, the first thing that you should do is to update your system with Ye. The update is complete now and I will reboot now the system. And now we are ready to install Hyperland on Endeavor. I will use the Hyperland starter package that is available on my GitLab that makes it super easy on HTTPS gitlab.com Stefan Rabe slash Hyperland starter. When you scroll down, you see here the installation instruction and you just have to copy this command. And that's it. Copy to clipboard, then open a terminal, paste the command in and go. Yes, I want to start the installation now. I have to enter the password and the required packages will be installed. Now the script asks me to copy the prepared dot files into the dot config folder. Of course, I want to do this. Then I set the keyboard layout and I choose the initial screen resolution of 1920 to 1080. The script has detected that I run the installer in a virtual machine. That's why I accept this with yes. And that's it. So let's restart the system again. And I can select Hyperland in the as desktop session. I can log in. And here is Hyperland. Yeah, so that was easy. This is a super fast way to install a core installation of Hyperland on your system. Okay, let's install the Hyperland settings app. I open a browser. I use Chromium. Again, I open my GitLab. This time the Hyperland settings. And also here you find in the readme one command that you can use to install it, copy, then open a terminal, paste it in and go. Yes, I want to install now. Enter the password. All the additional packages that are required will be installed and that's already it. Yeah, let's see if it's working. With command super key return, I open Rofi. Search for my Linux for work. Here is the my Linux for work Hyperland settings app and I start the app. And here it is. 
and you can start tweaking some hyperland configurations immediately. For example, increase the border size to 3, give the windows more gaps and some more gaps out, reduce the opacity for inactive windows, and activate Blur. Okay, perfect, good starting point. And now let's change the wallpaper. Let's CD into the config, into the hyper folder, open the hyper paper conf, and let's change the name of the wallpaper to three. I have six wallpapers available for you in the wallpapers folder. Save it and reload the wallpaper with the script reload hyperpaper.sh. And we have another wallpaper. Yeah, and it looks already very nice. Do some more changes. Let's remove the border completely by setting the border size to zero. And I want to reload the changes every time I boot into the system. And to do this, I need to add this command into the hyperlint.conf. So I open the hyperlint.conf, scroll to the end, go into the insert mode, paste the command in and save the file. Okay, so the changes have been resetted now, but when I reboot in the system, so I exit the system with super key M and start the session again, the wallpaper is there and the settings from the Hyperland settings app has been restored. So very easy, right? I'm here now on a minimal Arch Linux installation. So I log in. Let's see if the system is up to date with sudo pacman s y u. Some updates are available. Let's install the updates first. And we can log in again with the latest kernel and a system that is up to date. And now we can install a base Hyperland installation with this single command from my GitLab repository of Hyperland Starter. And the installation is already started. Enter the password. And I can confirm the installation of the Hyperland Starter. I copy the prepared dot files into the dot config folder. I set the keyword layout to DE. I set up the initial screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. Yes, I'm in a virtual machine and that's it. Let's give it a try. I clear the terminal and enter Hyperland. And here is Hyperland on a minimal Arch Linux installation, easy with the Hyperland starter package. Let's install also here the Hyperland settings app. I open in browser with super key B. Chromium starts. I open the URL of the Hyperland settings repository. And let's scroll down a bit and copy the installation command to the clipboard into a terminal and start. Enter the password. Some required packages will be installed and that's it. Let's give it a try. 
if everything is working correctly with super key control return, I open Rofi. Here is the Hibernate settings app. Perfect, it's starting correctly and I can start tweaking the Hyperland configuration. Again, let's remove the border size a bit to zero. Let's increase the blur effect. Let's reduce the inactive opacity for the window and if you want to make these changes persistent, you have to copy this command into the hyperland conf cd.config hyper vim hyperland conf. Scroll to the button, insert mode, save the changes. The default settings will come back now. With super M, you exit Hyperland, enter Hyperland again to restart, and you have the changes that you made with the Hyperland settings app every time you boot up into Hyperland. Let's change the wallpaper to with cd.config hyper, open the hyperpaper.conf. This time I will choose the fourth wallpaper. I save the changes, use the reload hyperpaper.sh script to reload the wallpaper. And we have a hyperlink wallpaper this time. This looks very nice. I hope you have seen how easy it is to install Hyperland in a base configuration with the My Linux for Work Hyperland starter package. And with the Hyperland settings app, it should be super easy to configure your system to your needs. And with that, see you next time.